What if I told you the secrets to successful stock market investing aren't about having a huge bankroll or insider tips, but something much more fundamental? Yes, that's right. Strip away the myths of becoming an overnight millionaire through stocks, and what do you get? The core psychology that drives every decision we make in the market. Whether you're a newbie or have been around the block a few times, understanding this could change everything for you. Hey there, future investors. Your go-to guide in the labyrinth of stock market investing. Understanding the psychology behind stock market investing isn't just about knowing which buttons to click on your trading app. It's about grasping why those clicks can sometimes feel heavier than a hammer striking an anvil. Whether you're saving up for a big dream or looking to grow your wealth incrementally, joining me on this journey will arm you with insights tailored specifically for beginners like yourself. Let's dive deep into what makes successful investors tick and how mastering the mental game can elevate you from a novice to a savvy investor. Ready? Let's get started. The Psychology of the Stock Market the psychology of the market pertains to the significant impact that human behavior and emotions have on market trends and investor decision-making. It's a universal truth that everything in our world operates in cycles. There are seasonal cycles, ecological cycles, geological cycles, technological cycles, economic cycles, and even smaller cycles like our personal relationship cycles. If you've had a major disagreement with your partner and things don't seem to be improving yet, just remember, give it time, it will. In the world of business, companies and markets fluctuate due to a variety of factors including economic conditions, performance metrics, and investor sentiment. It's important to remember that ultimately, everything will hold value in the long term. However, the challenge lies in navigating the interim period between the initial investment and the realization of a return. Various shorter-term influences can potentially interrupt this process and result in financial losses. The key to success lies in the ability to identify these cycles and emotional influences. This is what separates the great investors from the average ones. While the analytical aspects of investing can typically be mastered, as famously noted by legendary investor Benjamin Graham, the stock market operates like a voting machine in the short run, but like a weighing machine in the long run. This emphasizes the importance of long-term perspective and the ability to withstand short-term fluctuations in achieving investment success. Uncovering Common Misconceptions It's not uncommon for people to harbor certain misconceptions about investing in the stock market. Images of high-stakes gambling in glitzy casinos or exclusive clubs filled with the affluent elite often come to mind. These misconceptions have been perpetuated through various mediums such as movies, TV shows, and even personal anecdotes. However, let's debunk these myths for a clear understanding of what it means to invest in the stock market. Firstly, you might have thought that investing in the stock market is similar to gambling. This is far from the truth. While both involve a degree of risk, they're not equivalent. Gambling is based on sheer luck and randomness, while investing requires careful study, strategy, and financial acumen. Successful investing isn't just about taking risks and hoping for the best. It's about making informed decisions. It involves research, understanding market trends, and making decisions based on available data and insights. It's not just a game of chance. Secondly, there's the assumption that investing in the stock market is an elite club meant only for those with hefty bank accounts. This notion couldn't be further from the truth. Stock market investing isn't an exclusive playground for the wealthy. It's accessible to everyone, regardless of their initial capital. Many young investors, especially, are often misled into thinking they need thousands of dollars to start investing. The reality is quite contrary. It's entirely possible to begin your investment journey with much less. The stock market isn't closed off to anyone willing to learn and invest their time and resources wisely. Investing in the stock market is neither akin to gambling nor an enclave for the rich. Anyone with the willingness to learn, a little capital, and the discipline to make informed decisions can become a successful investor. It's high time we abandon these misconceptions and embrace the reality of stock market investing. Psychological Traps You Should Avoid In the realm of investing, one's behavioral edge stands as a critical pillar of success. 
This edge is multifaceted, consisting of two primary parts. The first involves understanding and recognizing the existence of behavioral biases and how they drive market dynamics. These biases, with their subtle influences on asset prices, present opportunities for exploitation. In essence, the adage, buy when others are selling, embodies this concept. While it's a familiar concept, it's rarely implemented to its full potential. The second facet of your behavioral edge is self-awareness. It's vital to remember we're all susceptible to the same behavioral biases. Overconfidence is one such bias. We often overestimate our positive outcomes and underestimate the negative potentials. Despite this, the feared disasters seldom materialize. Therefore, it's crucial to guard against allowing cognitive biases to distort your behavioral edge. The cognitive bias is the mind's mechanism for processing information through the lens of personal experience and preferences. It's a systematic thought process that can sway an investor's decision, leading to a good or bad investment. The catalog of cognitive biases is extensive. Adhering to this catalog can help an investor to minimize the impact of emotional decision-making and prioritize facts instead. The period from 2020 through 2021 demonstrated a unique illustration of this. The world was grappling with the COVID pandemic. As a result, there was a universal sense of social boredom, no traveling or sports, restricted activities, and a general sense of concern for mental health and well being. This boredom was met with a surge in spending on motor vehicles, recreational goods, furniture, appliances, and pets spurred by government stimulus checks and affordable loans. Without the thrills of live sports betting, smaller investors turn their attention to the stock market. Spencer Jacob explores this phenomenon in his insightful book, The Revolution That Wasn't GameStop, Reddit, and the Fleecing of Small Investors. Logical versus illogical. In today's world, illogical behavior often seems smarter than logical, especially in investing. Warren Buffett, an exemplary investor, embraces simplicity and patience. He focuses on undervalued companies with steady profits, positive cash flow, and minimal debt. However, many investors fall prey to illogical decisions, often fueled by social media critiques of successful businesses run by Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and Mark Zuckerberg. Investors often fall into the pseudo-certainty and blindness traps. These involve overconfidence, reluctance to change opinions, and unconscious biases. Such traps obscure objectivity, impair judgment, and undermine decision-making. A second or alternative opinion can ensure more rational decisions. In 2012, investor Bill Ackman bet $1 billion against Herbalife, claiming it was an illegal pyramid scheme. Despite many debates in the company's solid fundamentals, Ackman's certainty led him to lose about $760 million. This outcome reflects both pseudo-certainty and superiority traps. To succeed in stock market investing, humility is key. Remain skeptical, carefully consider risks and potential returns, and stay updated with research to avoid psychological traps. Always remember the market has its own ways to humble overconfident investors. The way to win at investing is to do exactly the opposite of what nearly everyone else is doing. Emotional mastery in investing. Investing can often feel like a high stakes game, one that significantly impacts our financial well being. But there are many aspects to investing that are within an investor's control, such as carrying out careful research, consulting with experts, and most importantly, resisting the tug of emotions on your decision making process. Now, navigating the stock market without being led astray by our emotions, specifically fear and greed, is where the real challenge lies. These are two potent emotions that have the capacity to heavily influence an investor's behavior. Fear can lead to panic selling, with investors hastily letting go of their assets at the first sign of a market downturn. On the other hand, unchecked greed can lead to making overly risky investments or purchasing stocks hastily without due diligence hoping for a quick windfall. The first step to tackle this emotional roller coaster is acknowledging the power of these emotions. This means understanding how fear and greed can cloud our judgment and make us lose sight of our investment goals and strategy. The second step, which is equally crucial, if not more so, 
is developing emotional resilience. This involves building the mental fortitude to resist the urge to make abrupt, impulsive decisions during periods of market volatility. Volatility is a characteristic aspect of the stock market, and emotional resilience is what empowers an investor to stick with their investment strategy without faltering. Adhering firmly to your investment strategy, despite these temptances, is a hallmark of emotional resilience. It allows an investor to stay focused, maintain a level-headed approach during tumultuous times, and ultimately make decisions that align with their long-term investment objectives. This two-pronged approach, acknowledging our emotional triggers and building emotional resilience, provides a robust foundation to navigate the ups and downs of the stock market successfully. It's not just about making financial decisions. It's about making rational, well-thought-out financial decisions that withstand the test of time, and more importantly, the test of your emotions. Strategic Planning and Continuous Learning When we talk about strategies in the world of stock investment, it's vital to understand the importance of not diving into this intricate financial ocean without an effective plan. Doing so is akin to ascending the mast of a vast ship and setting sail without a compass, navigating the tempestuous seas with nothing but hope and gut instinct as your guide. Just as a compass points a sailor towards his destination, a meticulously crafted investment strategy acts as your own personal North Star in the investment universe. This North Star investment strategy doesn't merely act as a rigid roadmap. Instead, it offers a crucial framework that guides your decisions, helping you make informed choices that can adapt swiftly to the ever-changing, often volatile conditions of the marketplace. It provides you the flexibility to see potential diversions and adjust your sales accordingly, ensuring you maintain course towards your financial goals, even amidst turbulent market waters. However, a strategy alone cannot suffice. One must embrace the concept of continuous learning, much like a sailor learning to navigate newer seas and understanding the diverse marine life. This thirst for knowledge in the investor's context translates into keeping updated with the ebb and flow of market trends, comprehending the intricate workings of various business models, and continuously enhancing one's financial literacy. Just as a sailor with a comprehensive understanding of the sea and navigation is more likely to survive and thrive, an investor who is well-versed in these areas is in a better position to make sound investment decisions. This continuous learning journey not only equips you with the skills to navigate your investment journey with more confidence, but also bolsters your decision-making skills. It armors you with the knowledge to understand the implications of your actions, empowering you to make decisions that align with your financial growth and risk appetite. In essence, the investment journey in the stock market is a voyage. A voyage that requires a clear strategy akin to a sailor's compass and an insatiable desire for continuous learning, much like a sailor's understanding of the sea, to successfully navigate the tumultuous waters of the financial markets. The Ripple Effect of Patient Investing Understanding the true potential and power of patient investing is best illustrated through real-life examples and case studies. These successful individuals demonstrate that vast wealth and substantial gains are often derived not from quick, short-term successes, but from the disciplined and consistent application of investing strategies over a lengthened period of time. Contrary to popular belief, the world of investing is not about instant gratification or aiming for rapid wins. Instead, the real value lies in the long-term growth potential of investments. This highlights the pivotal role that patience plays in generating compounding returns. When investors adopt a patient approach, they allow their investments to grow, mature, and compound over time, ultimately leading to amplified wealth. A key to successful investing lies in managing expectations in a rational manner. It's crucial to view investments as long-term commitments, not quick routes to success or overnight wealth generation. Shifting this mindset helps to unlock numerous doors and opportunities, not just in the realm of financial gain, but also in terms of personal development. This perspective fosters a deeper understanding of financial markets and their dynamics, which in turn hones an individual's decision-making capabilities. By navigating through economic fluctuations, investors can develop emotional resilience, 
a must-have trait for long-term success in investing. Moreover, it's an opportunity to amplify one's emotional intelligence, a critical skill set that could play a significant role in multiple areas of life beyond investing. Investing, then, is not just about financial gain. It's an ongoing journey of personal growth, self-improvement, and developing a keen understanding of economic trends and market dynamics. All of these benefits underscore the indispensable value of patient investing. We've journeyed together through the vital aspects of psychology in stock market investing, unraveling common misconceptions, and highlighting the importance of emotional mastery, strategic planning, continuous learning, and most importantly, patience. Remember, becoming successful in this field isn't just about financial gain. It's also a path to personal development, enhancing your decision-making capabilities and emotional intelligence. I encourage you not to view this as an endpoint, but as a stepping stone toward mastering the art of investment. The disciplined mindset combined with an unquenchable thirst for knowledge is what separates thriving investors from the rest. Subscribe to our channel for more insights on smart investing practices designed specifically for you, the bright-eyed beginner eager to navigate the complexities of building wealth through intelligent strategies. Share your experiences or questions related to overcoming psychological challenges while investing in the comments below. Let's foster a community where we grow not just our portfolios, but ourselves.